Dana Community Hospital, we provide complete care for our athletes. Whether it's practice, game day, or any day in between, we have you covered. We offer complete care on and off the field, including sports enhancement training and sideline care and concussion testing. If an athlete is injured, we offer excellent emergency care and imaging. Orthopedic specialist Dr. Elvitar is available for evaluation and surgical correction if needed. Following injury, our physical therapy staff will get you back in the game faster than you might think. At Pena Community Hospital, we've got game. We'll get you back on the field and keep you there. It was senior night in Pena on Friday as the Panthers took the field against Piasaw Southwestern. Let's meet your 2017 Panther seniors. Jacob Beeson, number 10, quarterback. Ian Harbert, number 33, linebacker. Jack Clark, number 44, fullback. Connor Vogue, number 58, O-line. Light Hanchin, number 59, offensive line. Taylor Hardwick, number 71, defensive line. Jade Herford, number 73, O-line. Dylan Sisk, number 74, defensive line. Daniel Edway, 84, wide receiver. Robert Jackson, 90, D-line. Right off the bat, Pena gets on the board after Cody Klein steps in front of a Piasaw pass and takes it to the house for a pick six. The birds respond with a methodical drive that ends on this score on 4th and 14. Six all here in Pena. Next Piasaw possession. Birds are on the move again. But here's Klein for the second time as he pulls in another INT. Two plays later, Jacob Beeson hits Ben Holdhouse who gets a nice block from Jerry Byers and he's gone. Pena up 14 to six for the moment, but here comes the birds as Dakota Corby outruns the Panther coverage for a long score. Jack Armstrong and the Panthers can air it out too. That long catch sets up a score from Jack Clark as he slices in from five yards out to make it 21-14 with 10.51 to go before the half. Here's Sam Nolman creating a little havoc in the backfield, but it isn't enough to keep the birds off the board as they connect on another long pass, this time into double coverage. Pena holds a slim one-point advantage before Beeson finds his footing on this big run. It's Cody Klein in the foreground, and you can just barely see Ian Harbert in the background, but both just lay out the Southwestern defenders. It sets up a 21-yard toss from Beeson to Klein, which put Pena up 28-20 going into the break. Getting things started in the second half, it's Klein who hits the circle button to avoid this tackle. Then it's Beeson with a keep to put Pena up 35-20 with 7.44 to play in the third. Beeson got loose on the ground uh, a ton. A couple of big two-point conversions. What were you guys doing up front to, uh, to pave the way for him? We're just blocking. Coaches, uh, line coaches do a great job getting us ready in practice. They make us work hard. We condition well. We push the sled. We do everything we're supposed to do, and that's what gets the gaps open. We have great runners that can hit the, hit the hole fast, and then they're gone. Spin move and all, Klein couldn't quite find the end zone on that previous possession, but he gets there this time, and Pena is rolling now up 41-20. Next Piasaw possession, Wayne Perry puts a stop to the Birds' drive with this big sack. Pena takes advantage as Ian Harbert rips off his nicest run of the evening before Beeson comes away with his second rushing touchdown of the night. The Birds would score twice more in the final five minutes of the contest, and Beeson would register his third rushing touchdown, but it was well passed over after Bryce Edmiston turns on the boosters here on this 78-yard kickoff return for a score. That's two weeks in a row now. Wes Kyle follows it up and pulls down a nice pick here put the exclamation point on the night for Pena, and they secure themselves a playoff spot with a 61-34 victory. You were out for four weeks. You come back on senior night and get a big win. Uh, what's that mean to you? Well, I mean, I wouldn't be here without, I just like to give thanks to Drew Kasner. You know, he's a great trainer. He 
he does a job getting us back. Without him, I wouldn't have been, been able to play this game. But the coach just got us ready. We came out. We were a little slow to start off. Pretty slow, actually. But we're a second half team. We came out and we did what we needed to do. How important was it uh, for you and this team to get a win on senior night? That's very important. I'm so proud of these seniors. Uh, they worked so hard. You know, the storyline was you lost 19 seniors from last year. What are you going to do about it? And, and they worked hard in the, in the off season, in the summer. They, they got in the weight room. Uh, they didn't want to be the class that you know didn't have success in the, in the football program. And I'm grateful for them. I love them to death. And uh, just very glad that they got this win on senior night.